So welcome to this video of my first print. Uh, I just got a Megabot Replicator 5th generation today by FedEx. Thank you FedEx, you did a nice professional job. I just unboxed it, you can see that in a, another video shortly. Um, None of the built-in uh, uh, models will print. I did the level build plate, I loaded the filament, everything was fine, but when I hit print nothing happened. So now I hooked up to Megabot Desktop. I had to actually use a manual IP address to get this going, but now I'm hooked up and you will be witnessing my first 3D print, hopefully. Let's see what happens. I chose the Captain Space Monkey, which is a 15 minute print apparently, which is the only thing I could get working, was to hit the purchase button and there were some free samples. So I'm, I'm gonna try that. It turned red. It's moving. It's heating the extruder. This is very interesting. I'm using yellow Megabot filament PLA. And this is my first ever 3D print. I was a little bit worried that none of the built in files on the internal memory. Actually, the print button just didn't work on those. But then I hooked up to my library on on this it even tells me that the bot is pre preheating it would accept files from my library the ones that had layouts but I did those myself so I wasn't too sure whether they would work so I just selected one of the ones from the shop there's two demo files there and I checked that I actually, it looks like I have the latest revision of the firmware on the, this unit. They shipped on April 3rd, I think. Today's April 10th. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. Actually, I, let's check when they shipped this. That's pretty interesting. The box got banged up a bit. But... Uh, Does the invoice say? This is still preheating 55%. Let's check when this is shipped. Okay, it was shipped on the 27th of March. So it took a while, but it's been fine. The original estimated shipping time was at the end of February, so they went about 27 days past that. And then it took another two weeks to ship it. Uh, I'm in Denmark. Uh, but all the unboxing, all the stuff, except for the fact that I turned the leveling knob down here the wrong way and too many turns so I had to turn it back and was a little bit spooked by that but now it seems better. I hear sound. Here's the little smart extrudor. It's pretty interesting. So right now I'm very positive the box is a little more plasticky than what I was expecting, but um, yeah, they have really good looking product shots. It says now moving into position, please wait. All right, so move. Action! Please wait.
Let's hope it doesn't do the suicide move now. No. Looks pretty good. It went to the edge. It actually put down a little spot of filament. Interesting. It's cool that it has a little light. It's actually has the extruder down and it's doing something in there. And it just says print progress 77%. I wonder what's happening. Hmm. Moving into position. Please wait. Chip print with a raft. Ah, uh, this is what's what we're waiting for. This needs to hit a uh, 230 degrees, I think. So let's just turn off the house light here. I like this. Very nice with the LEDs. Sorry about the focus. It's like it's checking something in the corners of the build plate while it's heating. It says final heating 80%. This is my first 3D print, so you will get the whole excite exciting startup. Anyway, the advice I got was to buy an Ultimaker, buy a Replicator 2, not a fifth generation, it's not ready yet, but so far it's actually been going pretty good. It might not be as fast as the older printers, actually, but you know, this is for the future, I hope. I really hope so. Actually, I tend to like MakerBot. I think they make a nice product, which is something I like having in my home. And the salesman I talked to was brutally honest. I ordered directly with MakerBot. And the FedEx shipping company was extremely professional. And, you know, so far it's been good. I had to pay the money up front. And that's a little bit tough, but I think Megabot is calling the shots right now because they are the king of the hill in New York City right now concerning 3D printers. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad. If this print becomes just reasonably good, uh, then I'm off at a good start. I started setting this up at 9, so it's been 1 hour 45 minutes, um, including the time it took me to, uh, to realize that I probably didn't have to upgrade the firmware and I probably Now I understand why they made this corner like this, so this doesn't snag here. That's pretty nice. It's almost there. Uh, 
that. Okay, practically nothing comes out of the nozzle. And now something comes out, it makes like a... Half the raft is there. Hmm, there's a raft coming. This is my first 3D print. This is my first 3D print. It's 20% in. I'm 